What up everybody, this is Andy Mills and I'm back with some more Death Stranding tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you um, two or I guess four, two weapons and then two decoys I'm going to show off in this uh, mule camp right here. This is like the second tier mule camp I would say. I would call it a second tier mule camp whereas these uh, mule camps over here, all four of these are first tier where it's just um, melee mules and then this this camp right here and then this camp right here they're they carry lethal weapons and they can actually kill you so um, I'm going to use weapons uh, I'm gonna use the non of course I'm gonna use weapons <laughs> I'm gonna be using the non-lethal assault rifle level 3 and if you have made it to this part of the game like in this area you would have gotten it by now you get it I believe you get it from the north of mountain not this or mountain not distro center and then I'm also going to be showing off the riot shotgun that I got from, uh, what's her name? The photographer right here. The photographer, she gives you shotguns, which are obviously lethal and they can be hematic rounds. And she gives you the riot shotgun, which is the non-lethal version of that. So I'm going to be showing off the riot shotgun that I recently got and the non-lethal assault rifle. Then again, I'm going to show off... Uh, I'm going to try to throw these decoys. I'm going to weave them in between uh, taking down from the mules. I'm going to be ta I'm going to clear out this camp so I can show off something in another video, but I just wanted to use this time to try to record a video and show you guys uh, how effective these are in combat with the mules because obviously you don't want to use lethal weapons against humans because then you can cause them to go necro like necro and then have like a whole void out so you don't want to avoid that and i actually haven't seen that so that might actually be another video i was just thinking on the fly anyways we're going to start off with the riot shotgun right now i'm already in the area and i'm going to aggro this guy right now so let's do it this should be fun wow how effective and nobody was oh never mind i was about to say nobody was wiser all right here we go Continuing. What's up, bro? Oh, oh, I suck. Okay, there we go. I graze him. And I would definitely recommend uh, armor plates. Oh, let me talk about that real quick. I have to take this guy out. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> I got I got way too ahead of myself. So in my last video, I talked about armor plates and the boss battle against the battle veteran um, villain. But I actually still haven't gotten level three anyways. Um, at level 2, the normal armor plate just blocks damage. It doesn't really do much else after that. Level 2, though, has an electromagnetic, electromagnetic shielding that offers more protection for cargo and things like that. So the other one, it would just stop damage to you. This one stops damage to you and also stops damage to your cargo if you do have cargo running through a mule area. So that's really good. That's really good. So I would definitely would take. I would definitely, definitely, definitely suggest this if you're ever going to try to mute, if you're ever going to clear out a mule um, area. And I'm also going to show. I, I just remembered. I'm going to show off the stun bomb. If you haven't seen it yet, if you're not at this point, it shows the effectiveness. If you're being charged with um, charged by the mule trucks, and in these areas they have multiple mule trucks that come at you with the guys, so it's very effective. And I'm going to show that off. And as you can see, this shotgun is is ridiculous i would say you definitely need this if you're going to clear it a uh, mule area okay so we have a guy coming or a mule truck coming and throw it oh oh i was about to say i whiffed it and they all get stunned i have my non-lethal rounds on my non-lethal assault rifle they're all stunned and you just shoot them Couple of shots as soon as they drop their cargo, they're stunned. Stunned. Oh, load. And and as you can see, I've barely taken any damage. So we have this guy over here. Just bob and weave. Oh wait, there's people to my left. Yep. Auto aim, auto auto aim is on here, but it doesn't always work. I, I think you just have to get to a certain range before it actually starts to engage. Switch back to my riot shotgun because that thing is OP. Oh, actually. What's up? Oh! Ow! Okay, let me try something. I want to show off 
the smoke emitting one. Oh. I forgot you have to actually pick a hand that you want to carry it in. Got it. Oh, they don't care about that. Okay, never mind. I guess when you really full aggro them, these guys do not care about the cargo. They just want to kill you. Again, riot shotgun, OP. What's up, bitch? Where are you going? Are you still alive? There he goes. Uh, where's that last dude? Oh, there he is. Boom! What up? Raised him. But, uh, there you go. That's... That's how you clear it. The music stops and all that was simple as hell. So I'd highly recommend, okay, so I have no batteries, right? Uh, there has to be a generator around. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. That's that's showcasing the effectiveness of the ride shotgun. I believe you get this when you have level three connection with the photographer. You get the ride shotgun level one because you unlock the shotgun level two at that point. Um, so I would definitely rush that if you're in this area. Riot Shotgun level 2, very OP when you're trying to clear out mules. One shot, one kill if it's a direct hit. Alright, thank you very much guys. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you have feedback or comment, leave it down in the comment section. If you're not subscribing to this uh, channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Alright guys, have a great night.